Hey, what's up guys? I'm Matlock Lopes and welcome to another episode of The Artist Evolution. So you're looking at getting a tattoo, but you're not sure if you want it in black and gray or color. Okay, so these are going to be some helpful hints and things for you to investigate to choose between black and gray or color. Alright guys, so let's talk about skin tone. So the lighter your skin tone, the more brighter colors you can get. And the darker your skin tone, the darker colors that you need to get for contrast. In the end, you want a readable tattoo and you just want to make sure that it has enough contrast that it's just not muddied and you can see it from a distance. So I like to think of skin as a window because Tattoos are below the surface and when once your tattoo heals, it's like a clear window. So the, all the top layers of skin are clear and you see the image below it. So imagine a window that's super crystal clear. Anything behind it you can see really great. If you have a tinted window, it's going to start messing with color and darker windows, same difference. So let's just say for instance you have a tint of like brown on a window, right? And you want a color like blue. Blue plus brown isn't really that great of a color. So you want to go with like a red, something that's relative to brown. Green can be a brown. Obviously brown can be a brown. Yellow is a, like in the family of brown and red is in the family of brown. Really, if you're light enough and you can get some color, the only color I would suggest avoiding is blue. Same thing's true with the clear window. Obviously you can get white and through a clear window you see white. So your options with color are there depending on the tint of your skin. All right, so let's talk about sun exposure. If you're somebody that likes to go to the beach and get a lot of sun, sit up by the pool, boat, whatever you have the money to do, I guess. You probably want it more like a black and gray tattoo, like a traditional style gray wash, because if you're gonna get really tanned, it's gonna destroy your tattoo pigment. Sun destroys pigment. You wanna get something that adapts to your shade of skin color. If you get traditional black and gray wash tattoo, once you get tan, it's mostly comprised of black and water, so it, and it uses your skin a lot. So if your skin gets tinted, it will darken with the tattoo, and then when you lose that tan, the black and the gray shading will still be there. But if you go get a bright tattoo and you go out into the sun, it's going to ruin the tattoo, so you really want to consider that. Okay, so the next thing I want to talk about is what you're trying to get tattooed. If you're trying to get a beach scene or a sunflower or something like that, oftentimes things like that that require a lot of color, if you desaturate it, meaning turning it into black and gray, it becomes flat. So if you're able to get color, that's your best bet. It's not going to it's going to have mostly the best contrast using color because it doesn't have a lot of gradation from black to light in the gray scale. So if you do want to get a color tattoo and you do see a lot of sun, just make sure you use a high SPF sunblock. I recommend a sport spray on. Uh, the only thing that if you're going on vacation, you have to do multiple days of vacation and applying. Just make sure when you come home from the vacation that you scrub it really good because it dries when your skin kind of like hairspray. I hope you guys enjoy and make sure you comment below and share. Do whatever you want, but watch our show. Thank you. Thank you.